hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to explain how to connect your panels in series and also in parallel and also i'm going to talk about the difference between series connection and parallel connection when to use them in your solar system applications now these are our panels we have five pieces of 525 watt panels here lined up we have an installation to do at this moment and uh, i'm going to connect these panels in series because of the specificity of the inverter we are going to use for this co configuration if you want to connect panels in series what you need to do is for example you take this panel now you see that each panel has a positive and a negative terminal for connection now for series connection it's very simple this easiest connection you can ever do for series connection all you need to do is to connect positive of one of the panels to negative of the other in this manner this is the positive terminal of this panel i want to connect this panel to this panel in series to connect in series this is what you do okay you take the positive of one panel then you connect to the negative of the second panel just like this when you do this these panels have been connected in series now when you connect panels in series what is the implication the implication is that the voltage of each panel will add up to become one now for instance the voltage of this panel if you check the name plates you see that the voc or let's use v at p max is 40 volts now the same thing because it's the same brand and the same size the same wattage this one is also 40 volts when you connect this panel to this panel you will get 80 volts in total but the current remains the same the current does not change when you connect panels in series the voltage add up but the current does not change so when you connect this other panel to this other panel how do you connect it this is negative now you are also going to connect the positive of this one to the negative of this you get the points then when you connect positive of this to the negative of this you have negative here negative of this one you connect to the positive of this one at the end of the day you have positive on this side and negative of this on the other side or you have positive on one side and negative on the other side so that is the output of the connection that is what series connection is all about when you connect panels in series the voltage will add up if you connect two panels this 40 this 40 that's two times 40 is 80 volts if you connect three that's three times 40 120 volts if you connect four that is four times 40 that's 160 volts if you connect five that's uh five times 20 uh, 40 200 volts that is how panels are connected in series what is the application of series connection because of the inverter we are using is a high voltage inverter and those high voltage inverters they need a minimum of 50 volts from you can have a minimum of 100 volts and a maximum of 500 volts they need high voltage and low current so they don't need they don't work with current they work with voltage so when you connect them in series you have enough voltage to drive current to charge the batteries we connect these five panels in series you have 200 volts and it will work well with the hybrid inverter that is the reason for series connection let me even test to tell you for you to know that is true it works well now if you connect this one panel if you check the voltage of this one panel let me show you what we get this is my multimeter take it to voltage dc voltage then let's see what we get this 37 volts right now if you add this panel if you connect it series you are going to get 37 times 2 that's about uh 74 so so let's connect this one now to this one so as we connect this it means i've combined the two panels to become one big panel Let's pin it, the MC4 connector. So when you pin it, when you connect panels in series, you always have positive on one side and negative on the other side. Now when you measure the aspects of these two panels, 
because I've counted them in series, you have 37 times 2, you get the voltage of the series connection, the resultant voltage. So what's the resultant voltage of this connection? You see? We are having 78. So 78 divided by 2 is what? Say around 35, 36 or so. You get the point? So that is it. When you connect this one extra to it, you're also going to have another 37 added to this value to get the voltage, the resultant voltage of this panel, of the connection. So that is series connection. Then what about parallel connection? When do we need parallel connection? Parallel connection most times is needed when the system that you want to install requires more of current and less voltage. Most times when you have a PWM controller, a PWM controller does not need enough voltage. It needs just, sometimes you can have maybe 12 volts, 24 volts or 48 volts. These panels, they are 48 volt panels. So when you have a PWM controller and you have these five panels, all you need to do is to connect the five panels in series. Why is to connect any the five panels panels in parallel? If you connect anyone in series and connect to a charge con a PWM charge controller, you destroy the charge controller. So you damage the charge controller because it doesn't work with high voltage. It cannot handle high voltage. It's a low voltage component. Also, the MPPT controllers. Some MPPT controllers they have their maximum voltage. For instance, the Felicity 120 amp. I think the maximum voltage is about 145 volts. When you connect these five panels to that controller, you damage the controller because it doesn't, the voltage you know is C145. So that is how parallel connection. Now, parallel connection, this is how it works. What you do, you simply connect the positive of one panel to the positive of another panel. Very simple. Let me show you with this one. Now, this is parallel connection for you. This positive, this positive. What you do is to connect positive to positive. Then connect negative to negative. Parallel connection requires you to have a lot of cables. Yeah, that's the down downside of parallel connection because you need more cables to to jump the connections, like jumper cables. You connect them together. But series connection, you can just connect side to side, side to side. And the only thing you need to worry about is the last cable you need to connect the output to whatever controller or whatever inverter you're using but for parallel connection you need to run cables through the string the entire string so that is the down, downside of parallel connection then for parallel connection you see this one is positive this positive this negative you connect to that negative now what's the implication of parallel connection you connect panels in parallel the voltage remains the same if this 40 volts this 40 volts you connect them in parallel, it's still 40 and 40 volts. But what changes is the current. If the current of this one is 10 amps, when you connect them in parallel, it will be 20 amps. Resultant current. Well, because you cannot measure the current, there's no load. So we cannot measure the current. But that is what you get when you connect panels in parallel. The current will double, will add up, while the voltage will remain the same. Now, parallel connections are used mostly for we have MPPT controllers and is a low voltage system, not for hybrid inverters or hybrid systems as the application of parallel connection. Then one of the downside of series connection is that there's risk of electric shock. There's risk of electric shock. When you connect DC with one, some, sometimes you can connect up to 10 panels, 12 panels in series. When you connect 10 panels in series, the voltage is almost 500 volts. And the when you make any mistake, while connecting them and you get you can you might get electrocuted that's the downfall of the series connection but for, for parallel connection most times highest is just maybe two parallel connections then you series the rest then there's also parallel series connection that is parallel and series connection it depends on the system it depends on what you want to achieve in another video i'm going to do is uh, a comprehensive breakdown on how parallel series connection is done you connect both in parallel and in series that's why you need to have equal number of panels so even number of panels. If you have six panels, you can series two, series two, and series the last two, then connect everything in parallel. That's para series connection. If you have 12 panels, you can do three series, three series, three series, and connect everything in parallel. If you can do four series and connect three strings in parallel. 
so you cannot have the 11 panels when you want to do power series because it's not even you need to have an even number of panels for you to be able to achieve power series connection if you have 12 panels you can connect six panels in series and parallel them together to get your connections you can also use that application for some hybrid inverters that doesn't accept uh, more than uh, a specific uh, wattage maybe 2000 more than 2000 watts you have 12 panels you can connect to six in series and connect the two strings in parallel so that is it for that so thank you very much and i'm about to start the installation of these panels i'll see you again in my next uh, round of videos i think i've explained uh, a lot in this video in my next round of videos i'm going to talk about parasis connection and i'm going to show you how the connection is done up there because when you look at it from here from this perspective it's kind of simple but when you get good up there it's a different ball game entirely but then again this is just the basics and this is just the uh way the best way to understand it so when you understand it like this when you get there it's going to be more of a big deal for you so that is it for that thank you very much please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button uh share the video to your friends to anyone and please make sure you comment on my video thank you very much i'll see you again in my next video bye stay good